We are live. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. So today we've got a very interesting topic, and I'm going to let you to explain what it's all about. Yes. So today what we are talking about is core values. So before what we have spoken about is values, but um, this is more specific. So core values is more around, so there's like five basic or six basic core values. And invariably in any kind of relationship or friendship or any dynamic, if your core values are not the same, it's a massive, massive challenge on how that relationship is actually gonna develop and to grow. And the core values stem from your parents, which is quite interesting because sometimes you're not actually aware of them as in what your core values are until they're challenged. And yeah, so that's what we're talking about today. <laughs> that's a very interesting topic. So let's start and just feel free to share with us in the comments below, what are your core values? So let us know. We're going to start. Yes. So the first one around core values. So say you meet somebody. And if I think a lot of really, really good friends of mine that are very, very religious. And I'm not religious, but I've got a very strong spiritual belief. So I generally will connect with people who've either got a spiritual or a religious belief. So for somebody who has no belief whatsoever, chances are the relationship could be a little bit challenged because of the way we think and the way we speak. Does that resonate with you? No, it is. And you know, like for me, I always say because like I'm Jewish and I'm from Israel, a lot of people assume that I'm very religious and that I'm kind of orthodox and, and I'm not. I'm actually more of a spiritual. So I do believe because if someone doesn't see, like, you know, if you're not sharing, I'll take it like that side of that belief from the side of if you're sharing the same core values around it. Um, so it doesn't matter like if you are believing in what, if you're sharing the same core values around that belief. Mm -hmm. So that's the way I see it. Um, yeah, <laughs> you're nodding for yes. <laughs> yeah, well, I, think that, I think also, you know, the, it just, it makes, it makes a relationship a lot more challenging if you are the one, you know, so say I talk about, I don't know, the universe or karma or things like that. And the other person's like, mm, no, I don't get that. So that's what I always say to people. It doesn't matter in what do you believe because of where I'm coming from. So it doesn't matter what do you believe in. It's a matter that you know you've got, we all as human beings need to believe in something. So some mm -hmm. will call it God, something like more spiritual, the universe. But bottom yeah. line, we're all talking about something. So when I look at it, I'm trying to look at what we have in common around that area and that's why i'm going on the values around this because from where i'm coming from i'm still like they jewish and i'm jewish but they're orthodox and i'm not and we don't see not eye to eye in some of the stuff so that's why i learned to look at it from this side yeah but there's still more of a similarity as opposed to if the person's like not believe in nothing it is and there's a lot of stuff and especially in relationships you cannot be with someone uh, you know that you don't share like the same beliefs sometimes because it is and that's the reason I believe that some people are converting it eventually at one point mm -hmm. yep <laughs> and the second one in the beliefs is that if their people are giving or not and I must say that I'm that's like for me and that's why I wanted to say this one because I'm a very giving person and I'm struggling because I'm a person that I'm very giving and I don't know how to say no, that I found myself in a situation that I feel uncomfortable in situation. Like I'm like getting tired sometimes of the giving to certain people because you know, you get nothing in return and the nothing in return, it's not that I'm expecting for them to give me the same as what I give, but you know, something in return. Like if you, let's say you give money, and the other one give you love. You give love and the other one give you help in something. You know, it's a give and take sometimes. Yes. And that's why for me, I want to have people around me that are also giving. Yeah. Um, that I won't feel, because I don't know how to say no. So for me, I prefer to have people around me that I don't need to say no to them. That's my solution for the problem. But also, it's fair enough. You know, I'm always either way giving. So why not get people? And I really believe that that's what you need to find. If you are the type of person that it's hard for you to give, you know, 
people that are very giving at one point they will hate you they will feel uncomfortable with you so it's not going to work like it's going to collapse at one point yeah i think also it goes down to like the, it goes to small things you know it goes to i don't know when you go out for a meal or phoning or you know even all the groups that you set up you know you you've set up the groups and i mean i just i, I talk about it all the time because i love the group that you set up the instagram support group and with that you've been so giving to connect all of us up together and then within that you know we can all give to each other we can engage with each other we can respond and we can just yeah i think there has to be a reciprocation otherwise you do feel I, i agree with you it doesn't have to be literally you know i give 100 rand you give 100 rand but there has to be a, a give and take otherwise yeah it's not it's not going to work no, so, i agree you know what it's like take it even from the more like simple example when you sit in a restaurant with a friend and then comes the bill right you have the friends that are going to say no matter what let's split it or like my turn now you turn next time that's a give and take in a certain way but there's some people that they will order everything and then you need to pay more all the time so at one point it doesn't work together you know you're going to feel so much anger around it so at one point even if we're not going to say something at that specific point it will collapse at one point it will like you're going to burst at, at one point at that person yeah it's going to definitely make you drift So the next one is around family. Now like one of my really 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 good friends, family is probably her number one. So any guy she gets involved with, he must know that they come as a package. So in other words, it's like the whole family. You're not just dating her, it's the whole family. And if she's involved with somebody who's not family minded, it's never going to work. It's never never going to work because that is a huge core value for her, you know? So I think yeah. that's important that yeah it is and you know what let's be honest family is going to be there for you no matter what even if you're making the wrong decision as per their thoughts or whatsoever they're always going to be there for you at least for a lot of us so mm -hmm. it is and that's why a lot of people feel the need to say it's a give and take um and it's not even like also like you know like if you are divorced with kids so yes of course the other person need to accept it with this but it also needs to accept that there is the are the partner that you got divorced from because there's still the kids and there's still some connection. So if you're ready for this yes or not, that's like what you need to make a decision. But it is I do I really resonate to this beliefs because for me family is everything and if someone won't get along with my family. <laughs> no, I mean I have to say I'm, I'm yeah, no, it's not a it's not a big I mean I've got an amazing relationship with my mom especially. I've got a like I've got a good relationship with my sister. my dad I've got a relationship with but if the person I'm involved with doesn't kind of connect with them we we don't come as a package deal it's not like I want to be with them every weekend it's not like I want to go on holidays with them all the time so I'm not kind of greek or italian in that way where it's like it's all of us so for me it's not um but I think if it is for somebody then you need to know and you need to accept that and you either need to be be like that or not Yeah. So you see for me my family is my life and like even now that my can my flight was canceled like for me it's tough cuz I don't know my it's like but that's the way I grew up that's a family uh we meet every all the time when I'm you know in Israel so it is but that's the beauty of it cuz we are giving you now the different beliefs the different core values and you can say I'm resonating with this more just with this maybe with all of them and that's part of it Um the next one is honesty the lives in honesty and it is it's some people this is very important for them this is the core for people to be honest with them with themselves and with each other and if they're yeah. not so there's not even like trust there so why do you want to be in a place that you don't feel their trust um so i really resonate with this i don't think there's so much this like you know it's a must I think also with honesty, you know, you because you get your core values from your parents. I grew up in a family where my mom always said, you know, you can tell me anything. It doesn't matter what you've done, tell me anything and it's going to be okay. And I I've, I've carried through that philosophy. So for me, it doesn't matter whether it's a friendship, whether it's a relationship, you can tell me anything, absolutely anything and I'll be okay with it. But when you've lied to me, that's hard. That's hard because then I start thinking, well, what else have you lied about? What else have you lied about, you know? And and it's a lack of it's for me to respect as well you know if you respect somebody you're honest with them so honesty is important it really is for me for and you know there is a nice saying um in one of osho's book is saying you know 
a lie is sweet in the beginning, bitter in the end. And the oh. truth is bitter in the beginning, but sweet in the end. So bear it in mind when you're thinking about lying. Because it's better to be a bit bitter in the beginning. And yeah. sweet. And that's what my beliefs. And you see, this is what we're sharing. And that's why we share the same core values around this, about the beliefs uh, of honesty. That, for me, that's going to come true. That, that business is also very important. You want to do business with people that are not honest with you. You want to no. work with suppliers that are not honest no. with you. That's where you no. want to take your business. Mm, absolutely. Because that, for me, kind of very much ties into the next one, which is trust. Now, where I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing or just a, I don't know what, but I trust very, 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 very easily. So a lot of people call me naive, and I'm kind of okay with that. But I, I really do. I trust so easily. So when my, the trust gets broken, I get so thrown, I can't even tell you. I, it literally, it takes me so long to come back from that because I give it so freely because I feel that if we've got an honest relationship, the trust is a given. So why would you, why would you break that? And why, you shouldn't need to earn it because I'm going to give it to you, but just then don't abuse it, you know? So, yeah, I don't know how you feel about that. I don't know if you take well, a while. So I'm the same. So I'm the same. I'm very trusting in the beginning. Well, I've got a strong intuition. So I look at a person and I'm always going to give you to enjoy the benefit of the doubt. I'll yes. give you the time. But the yes. moment you're going to break it, that's it. I'm not going to be that upset, but I'm going to keep it in mind. I'm going to keep remembering it. So it's still going to be there and I'll know to be careful in certain stuff. Uh, but it is, for me, it's important. Don't you think that the biggest thing then is you think, you know, going forward, you think, okay, so if you've done that to me before, whether you've stolen, whether you've lied, whatever, if you've done that to me before, am I the idiot to think that you're never going to do that again? Or was that just a one-off bad moment, a bad day, a bad week, a bad year? Like that for me is what I sit on the fence with. Like I don't know if you just go, okay, well, that was just a one-off or that's kind of who you are. And that's, that's a big thing. That's a really big thing because they say when somebody shows you who they are, believe them. So where do you draw the line with that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I'll I tell you what I. So I'll tell you my side of this because you know when I look at this um, from my side, I look at the person and I will try to understand. But that's me. I'll try to understand why that person behaved in that specific way if there is actually a reason because maybe sometimes a lot of the time you know we experience something as a kid or in our childhood and we got into a type of behavior that we're like in a loop and sometimes if someone not going to put it out there for you and going to help you to break that loop you're going to still doing it over and over again so it doesn't mean that you're a bad person it's just that you know it sits on something and you're not even you know recognizing it you're not even aware so that's what i'll try to do if it's part of like if that's the top of the person and there's no way that person can change or is it actually because that person are stuck in some type of behavior because he doesn't know something else because you know things like this so that's what i'm doing when i'm looking at this trying to understand the cause of why um of course and then just hoping from that that there's not going to be a repeat of that you know that you've understood it you've discussed it there's been complete honesty and then because once there is complete honesty you can move forward but until the complete honesty is shown it's hard right it is and that's why it's very linked to the next one which is you know believe in commitment like like marriage and things like that because and also like it's not like also the commitment in a marriage is also in the marriage right and that's part of it like you know try to understand where are things coming from? We're all coming from different places. And you know, a lot of the time also people are afraid from commitments. Mm -hmm. uh, but when the right person is coming, they're maybe changing their mind. There's something in that person. Um, so like for me, I'm struggling with this a bit because you know, like you don't want to be with people that believes in commitment. Let's say, let's say if you are single and you want to get married. But if there's something I learned in life that don't judge so quickly about that person because maybe that person is saying no to commitment because he doesn't know something else because you know as i said like it sits on something from his past and once you're going to help him you know uncover it that's when you like it can change your mind so that's what for me it's it's not super important because a lot of time when you get into the person in the right way you can change them not because you want to change them. So I'm like saying accept it. Mm -hmm. 
like for me, I don't know. So that's what I'm looking at. Like I'll accept that person. I won't be like, it's not the main value for me. Yeah, I think, well, if, if it's around, um, you know, a work and a relationship, like a family or a marriage or something like that, I think, you know, certain people, like if I look at my sister and her husband, they've been married for 20 years. And I can tell you they put their marriage first because they would not be married for 20 years if they didn't put their marriage first, you know. So when there's been work commitments, whatever those have been, if it's been to the threat of the marriage, then they've rather sacrificed extra money or whatever that's been in order to, because the marriage has been the number one core value for them. And I think when it comes to the commitment, um, a big thing to remember is all the joy and the happiness and the love and all the beauty that you want with it comes at a price. It doesn't, there is no reward. There's no reward in life that you get where you haven't actually had some sacrifice, put the work in, that's part of it. You know, you can't, you can't get all the good without the challenges. It just doesn't work that way. Nothing in life. You don't become fit by sitting on the couch and dreaming about it, you know. So everything comes at a point. <laughs> it is, you know what? And in everything in life, in every good, there is also bad because in the bad, that's like you can call it bad, but I like the way you said, like the challenges is that mm. that's where you grow, that's where you make a change. And some will say they believe when you spoke about your sister now, so some will say it's a belief in commitment, but I actually saw it from a different angle. From my perspective, I saw it as a belief in a family, that yeah. family matters, that family is the most important thing. And yeah. that's the thing, like when you're looking on people, and I'll link it to business and part of building a brand. When you're building a brand, you really need to make sure that one of the steps over there is to build trust. You build relationships, you build connections, you build that community. In order for you to build trust, it's part of it is that if people feel that they share the same values as you, as your brand, they're going to mm -hmm. stay there. They're going to stay there. They're going to be loyal to you. And if they're going to be loyal to you, that means that they're going to keep on buying from you. They're going to be your best brand ambassadors. And that's one of the things you need to bear in mind. So if you share your certain values from everything and we're going to repeat them now, that means yeah. that what are your target market as well? That's some of the beliefs that they need to have. So that needs to be part of your definition. So we're going to repeat them all now. <laughs> no, I think also just to, just to sum that up and to say that when, when things do go wrong in business, work, relationship, you know, any of those things, so often it does actually boil down to your core values because your core values are not the same. So the first one is around uh, spirituality or religion, religion or the, the lack of. The second was about giving or not. So if you're a giver or a receiver. <laughs> the next one is about family. A family is very important to you. And the next one is honesty. How much is that important for you? Where you draw the line? And do you believe trust is earned or do you just give trust? And the last one is about commitment. How much that important for you, for people to be committed to their marriage, to their family, to their job, to their clients? and everything <laughs> so maybe over, maybe over the weekend sit with a friend or sit with a partner and just go through this and and you know and if you are having challenges or there's disagreements just note where those are and it are is it around any of these issues you know do you see certain things very very differently and yeah it could be an interesting discussion it yeah. is and you know what uh even now when you look at your friends and your family your partner Take a look now from the side and say, are we sharing the sound values and which one? And then you're mm -hmm. gonna see, like it's actually very interesting to look at this. Um, Cause that's what's gonna help you to build a strong foundation to that relationship, to that friendship. Yeah. <laughs> On yeah. Tuesday, we're gonna speak about marketing and we're gonna give you tips around this. Um, so if you have a certain topic in mind that you wanna know, that you wanna implement it, like organic marketing, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, whatever you want, let us know so we can speak about that topic on Tuesday. If not, we're gonna surprise you with something very interesting and with lots and lots and lots of tips. So yep. we're gonna have an awesome weekend. <laughs> Bye.